welcome back everyone i hope you're all doing really well this week i'm going to be doing some work on my tiki bar i've got a few things on my list and the first being attaching the rings to this cute little barrel that i picked up from ebay a few weeks ago so if you've seen any of my previous videos you would have seen that i sanded and restained the barrel it did have some writing on it originally it was a sherry barrel but the rings are quite loose so i've ordered some special drill bits that go through metal and i'm going to just attach these with some screws another thing that i wanted to do was replace the rope on the front posts so this is eight millimeter synthetic hemp rope and it's just gonna look a bit nicer, a bit chunkier, and it should weather a bit better as well. I'm also expecting my decorative wooden edging to arrive today from Little Grass Shack. And if you're looking for a shop that sells a lot of tiki decor, they pretty much have everything. I got my thatched roof from them three years ago, and I've also got quite a few tiki mugs as well, including this amazing ceramic shell mug. And apart from it adding a lovely decorative touch, the main reason I wanted it was because when it gets a bit windy, I'm really worried about my tiki mugs coming off the shelving. And unfortunately, this happened a couple of weeks ago. So we've got a casualty here, one of my outrigger mugs. Such a shame. I did try to glue it back together as best as possible, but some of the pieces were so small, it just didn't fit back together. So I've just kind of roughly stuck it back together for now. It's not too bad from this angle. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of these vintage tiki mugs are quite expensive to replace. So I'll be looking to replace it soon and I've got my eye on a couple on eBay. I also need to give the bamboo cladding at the front of the bar a bit of TLC. It started looking a little bit weathered, so I was gonna give it a sand, a stain and varnish it as well. But I'm not sure if I'll do that today or later on in the week. Again, if my wooden edging arrives in the next few hours, I'll be filming that. But if not, then I'll be filming that later on in the week as well. I also picked up this skull bottle from HomeSense recently, which I thought would look really cool in the bar. It was actually in the Halloween section. Apart from that, the only other new thing I think I've got for the bar is this little carving that I found on eBay a few weeks ago. I also added some more fishing net to the ceiling, but I don't think you'll be able to see it from here. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sort out my mini barrel and the rope. As you can see, I already put in one screw last week, but I didn't have any drill bits for metal, so it took ages. Um, so I'm planning on putting one at the back on each ring and then one at each side and then I'll paint the screws with black enamel. So I'm just going to be using a 3.5 mil drill bit. This metal is only very thin, so I won't be needing any oil or anything, and I'll just go slow. So that's all the screws in, apart from a couple on the top each side because I run out of screws, but the top is actually a bit more secure than these middle ones anyway, so it should be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint them in black enamel. And just be careful if you are drilling or filing metal, I'd recommend wearing gloves and safety goggles. The rope looks so much better, nice and chunky. I'll show you it from the back. So all I did was screw it in the top and the bottom. I literally just screwed straight through the rope into the wood. And then I burnt the ends with a lighter because this is synthetic. All you need to do is heat up the end and it will just kind of melt. So that's pretty solid. And I just used these 30 millimeter screws as I mentioned before, the rope is eight millimeters thick. So my lovely decorative edging arrived from Little Grass Shack. 
but I didn't realise that it wasn't going to be cut to size. I just assumed when I gave them the measurements they would cut it to size. So I'm going to have to find a way to cut this, borrow a saw or something, and then I'll do that later on in the week. I'm also really pleased with how the barrel is looking and the screws that I put in are quite discreet since I've painted them black so it doesn't take away from the charm of the barrel. So I ended up getting a bit carried away and started staining bits of the bar. It does need doing anyway, but I wasn't planning on doing it at the moment, but it looks so much better. I am going to varnish the bamboo this week as well, but you can see the difference from the top to the posts. They're so much darker. So at some point I'm going to need to stain the rest of it. I wish I had stained these before I put the rope on it though. Um, I'm going to have to take the rope off that before I stain those. And now that I've stained that, when I compare it to the stalls, they look quite weathered as well now, so they could do with restaining. And also my awesome Trader Tark Tiki carving. I've just given him a little sand and I'm going to give him a bit of stain because again, he was looking a little bit weathered. I have moved everything out of the bar ready to put the edging on the shelving. The carpenter popped over today to do some siliconing on the pergola and he kindly offered to cut my bits of wood for me. So I think he's gonna be dropping those off tomorrow morning. Very kind of him. I also ended up staining this mask as well. Blends in a bit better now. So this is the stain that I used on the bar, the Barantine Wood Protective Treatment in dark brown. I've also got the light brown one, so I might try that on the tiki carving and see how it comes out. It's quite dark, but I'm just hoping for a little bit more of a contrast to this one, so I'll see how it looks. Um, if not, I'll just go over it in the dark brown. So the carpenter dropped off the decorative edging this morning. Thank you so much for doing that, Mike, if you're watching. Really appreciate it. So I've just screwed it to the shelving and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I used these screws. I put three in the top pieces and four screws in the bottom piece. I did countersink them as well, just so that the screws sit in nice and flush. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the screws with brown enamel. And then I just need to stain the edges as well. I'm just going to use the stuff that I stained the bar with, which is like a dark brown, so it should blend in quite well. But I'm absolutely thrilled with how it's looking and I can't wait to get all my mugs and ornaments back on the shelves. And hopefully now I don't have to worry about them blowing off in the wind. I'm so thrilled with how it's all looking. All my mugs and ornaments are back on the shelves, nice and snug, hopefully. I painted the screws so they blend in a bit more now and the edges are stained so that looks much better. Excuse the mess. So I ended up staining my tiki carving with the same stuff that I used on the pergola. So I've done the base coat and then I'll leave it a few days and do a top coat. I was going to use the stuff that I used on the bar but I thought to have a little bit more of a contrasting colour I'll use this because it's got a bit more warmth to it although it has come out quite dark on the carving but it looks really nice so he'll be getting a second coat of stain 
probably on the weekend. So as well as staining the rest of the bar, which I'll probably just do over the next few weeks, I also wanted to varnish the bamboo cladding at the front. But I'll probably do that on the weekend now because the weather's been a little bit ropey the last couple of days. So I think that'll look really nice once it's got a coat of varnish on it. I need to do the stools as well. But here's how everything is looking. Really pleased with it. Still a work in progress. I'm sure I'll find other little bits and pieces to add to the bar. I was looking at the palm leaf matting, which I was gonna put on the back of the bar. And that's also from Little Grass Shack. But I think that'll be maybe next year now. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon.